Hey everybody, this is lesson 7 that I'm making for the uh, internet here. Mostly among friends, but eventually I will be going over the top to uh, YouTube. And I appreciate you don't share these with, uh, you know, people who have, uh, you know, public domain. Uh, you can. At this point, they're pretty good. But, um... Let's let's see what we're doing here. Remember, this guitar I have here is an A flat instrument. Okay, so when I go, that is really no, it isn't. It isn't E A D G B E tones. It's. It's tuned down to whole steps, so it's C tuning, down C they call it. And if you wanted to label the instrument itself, let's say it had it, the instrument couldn't be changed, it would be an A flat. It would be the only A flat instrument. So that you might want to know if you're playing along, you got to down tune your strings with me. And I, and then the discussion will make sense because I I discuss the. Th the uh, the lesson as if this was the key of E as if that was an E as that was an A if that was a good A or a lousy A <laughs> you know so what I like about you alright let's not Let's not get a cut now. So, what 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 is this chart? I figured something out about two wonderful things about this chart. Okay, what I did, how I made this chart in review, was I did the cage shapes on the bottom. Okay, everybody knows this is the cage shapes on the bottom. C leads into an A shape, leads into a G shape. Okay. Leads into an E shape C, which I love this one because it's so easy. Leads into a harder to make D shape C. All right. Now you might say, well, what is that little dinky, you know, what's going on? But the point is, when you get to this part of the pentatonic D shape, believe me, you are going to be more than glad. going to be more than glad because it's a very distinct shape. D is the only pentatonic or diatonic scale that has a split uh, two longs, two long split. Whether they're, whether these longs are um, S3S top with an S3S bottom, well I can tell you right now with the D it starts with the two so that top string would be a two. So it is an, it's an S2L top uh, and it mixed with an S3L bottom, but still it's two longies. Call these two longies. All right. Um, and they're split. That's the only one you'll see them really split. You'll see one of them or the other one, one without the other, or the other without the other. But you won't, and same thing with down here, S3S top under an S3S, S2L bottom. But you won't see them split, skewed like that, you know? Anyway, so that's the caged part on the bottom. Again, we got C. And the A goes... It's a pentatonic, and then we go to the G. G always ends on the tonic. It's like a double tonic, it's very nice. And then we go to the E shape C. Whoops. Okay, and then the D shape C. That sounds bad because I'm I'm stretching the notes. 
in different directions. I'm sure technique, you know, people know what I'm doing wrong. So that's the cage part on the first, and uh, we don't say we're going to do that on the on the top string, but we could. We could come down from a C, you know, and go. So kind of it's a C on the top, and and so on and so on and so on, so forth. What are these other guys? Well, guess what? These other guys make sense. All right. The notice this. The, the cage word kind of uh, goes around in a loop as, as if it's going around in, in, in a cage loop a circle of, ca of the cage word C-A-G-E-D then we got C-A-G-E-D we got C-A-G-E-D here we got C-A-G-E-D you know what I'm saying so guess what each string each string has its own uh, caged and it also has its own little string fragment so C starting on starts on three why does C start on three because up here here's your here's your guitar fretboard okay here, this is E E is the green note these are these are piano um, piano logos you know this is this is looks something like a C I'm sorry if it doesn't because as you shrink it down to fit onto a guitar it's going to look a little funny, but these are the black notes on the piano, all right? So this is the E. It, it's the boot that goes to the left, right? Correct? All right, so um, what we were talking about was... Uh, um, I forgot what we were talking about. Anyway, that starts on the three. This is what we were talking about. This starts on the three note because the three is the third of the key of root C. We're in the root C key for this discussion. This could be anything. This A is actually in the key of D, but we'll get to that. Like I say, this could be anything. It's simply the fretboard. It could be anything. Any of the 12 keys. <clears throat> so, starting on the three, we've got three, four, five is your is your C zone down here on the first string okay and then a, it goes up to a believe it or not when it's going horizontally so three four five goes to uh, six seven root okay so now this the, here's where it gets interesting so three four five is the bottom part of a C your A actually is um, starts on the fifth. Now that's strange because the A starting on the on the fifth would start. Um, let's see. I'm a little confused right now. Hmm. Okay. So in, to make a long story short, this isn't exactly how it stacks up. This is what it becomes. This is what it becomes, but it's still in the order of cage. That's what I'm telling you. It makes sense. Hey, if somebody's out of line here, and this A goes to an E and then a G, you know you made a mistake. Now, so this is that's the first thing that this this told me. So this E is here because when you play a C, starting from the second string, you're going to start it going to start you have to find the E on the second string okay so here's the second here's the E on the second string and you're going to play one uh, three five you know the D the I mean the A the the C the and then three a stack of three short so it's three five the six and the root okay which is the A and the C and then you're going to do a stack of three short two three five six are two but there's going to be a warp so let's try it again three five six root two three warp five six okay that is your believe it or not that's your c starting from a second string all right and it looks something like this so i find my third on the second string here it sounds something like this Why doesn't it sound like, why doesn't it sound like this? 